In the last episode, you met Eddie, the one-year-old golden retriever, and we were hiking the Arctic Circle. Also, we took the boat out for the weekend, ending up eating lunch on top of the mountain. It's not a good day. Last time we was here, or in the first episode, it was snowy. And that was the start of the season. And this is the end of the season. No snow, but... It's a... <laughs> it's a heater! <laughs> Today we're gonna bring with us quite a few things. Every winter we uh, completely empty her. The plan was to haul out Argo this fall. We um, got an agreement with a local company in Bodo uh, and we agreed that we were to come in October and have her on a hard till about March. Doesn't work. They sold the company and I got a phone call the other day saying that we do not keep any boats over this winter on the hard. So what happens is that we have to take care of Argo and she has to be in the slip during the winter. So next weekend we're gonna take down the sails fill and the diesel tank. fill up the diesel, empty the water tank and do all the preservation we have to do before. Take the dinghy home. Mm -hmm. There's quite a bit of cleaning to be done. Yeah. Be a man. Be a man. Get up to the job. Well, there's no turning back now. We're gonna try to fill the winter season with some fun and joy mm. before going out at sea again in March. <gasps> we bought a boat a little too small. Yeah. <laughs> mm. But when you get older, you, you shrink. Yeah. So by the time I'm 70. When you are retired, the boat fits. Yeah, yeah. It fits. <laughs> yeah.
change the oil according to the services on our Volvo Penta D130. Every fall though, we choose to change the oil again, just because we do not want her to stay through winter without being used with contaminated oil. the charger and this is a 8 amp battery and uh, it's a power supply to my little uh, pump with a hose on and if someone know how to do this please please leave a comment because I don't think this is the way to do it but it's the only way I can figure out Starting off from the rear end and blowing our way through the bathroom, then to the kitchen sink and back in the water tank. And then draining it with a pump. I don't think any engineer would come up with a stupid idea like that. So, so, <laughs> so it's probably done should be done a completely different please this is the third year I do it like this and it's looking more and more stupid every time and then we got this antifreeze which we have mixed it to stand about 15 to 20 degrees below zero and we uh, connect the raw water intake that's the, from the, the sea water intake to one of these and we start the engine and we fill up the seawater system with antifreeze and then uh, the boat has to lie like that till the spring comes in. taking down the sails today um, it's raining it's not a very pleasant weather we're gonna um, store these sails at home wash them first and then dry them and store them away um, and we're pretty much ready for the winter I think <laughs> luckily no storms so far this winter so that's nice
guys. Don't deal. Also, before winter comes, we fill up the diesel tank. <coughs> this is to avoid condensation because of huge differences in temperature. In the first episode of Sailing Argo, you saw a struggle because of diesel bug problem and frozen water in the diesel tank and the pipes.